The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me for daily prayer today on this Monday, May the 8th. Daily prayer, we follow the order of noon prayer found in the Lutheran Service Book on page 296. The readings come from the Daily Lectionary on page 299 of the Lutheran Service Book, the Old Testament and New Testament readings. And then also from the Treasury of Daily Prayer, we have an appointed psalm. So let's hear God's word together and pray together on this Monday, May the 8th. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Listen to my prayer, O God, do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The psalm that is appointed for this day is Psalm 31, verses 1 through 5. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress, and for your name's sake you lead me and guide me. You take me out of the net they have hidden for me. For you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading, continuing the book of Leviticus, chapter 21, verses 1 through 24. And the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the priests, the sons of Aaron, and say to them, No one shall make himself unclean for the dead among his people, except for his closest relatives, his mother, his father, his son, his daughter, his brother, or his virgin sister who is near to him because she has had no husband. For her he may make her make himself unclean. He shall not make himself unclean as a husband among his people, and so profane himself. They shall not make bald patches on their heads, nor shave off the edges of their beards, nor make any cuts on their body. They shall be holy to their God, and not profane the name of their God, for they offer the Lord's food offerings, the bread of their God. Therefore they shall be holy. They shall not marry a prostitute or a woman who has been defiled. Neither shall they marry a woman divorced from her husband. For the priest is holy to his God. You shall sanctify him. For he offers the bread of your God. He shall be holy to you. For I, the Lord, who sanctify you, am holy. And the daughter of any priest, if she profanes herself by whoring, profanes her father, she shall be burned with fire. The priest who is chief among his brothers, on whose head the anointing oil is poured, and who has been consecrated to wear the garment, shall not let the hair of his head hang loose, nor tear his clothes. He shall not go into he shall not go into any dead bodies, nor make himself unclean, even for his father or for his mother. He shall not go out of the sanctuary, lest he profane the sanctuary of his God, for the consecration of the anointing oil of his God is upon him. I am the Lord. And he shall take a wife in her virginity. A widow, or a divorced woman, or a woman who has been defiled, or a prostitute, these he shall not marry. But he shall take as his wife a virgin of his own people, that he may not profane his offspring among his people, for I am the Lord who sanctifies him. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron, saying, None of your offspring throughout their generations who has a blemish may approach to offer the bread of his God. For no one who has a blemish shall draw near, a man blind or lame, or one who has multi mutilated face, or a limb too long, or a man who has injured foot or an injured hand, or a hunchback, or a dwarf, or a man with a defect in his sight, or an itching disease, or scabs, or crushed testicles. No man of the offspring of Aaron, the priest who has a blemish, shall come near to offer the Lord's food offerings. Since he has a blemish, he shall not come near to offer the bread of his God. He may eat the bread for of his God, both of the most holy and of the holy things, but he shall not go through the veil or approach the altar because he has a blemish that he may not profane my sanctuaries for I am the Lord who sanctifies them so Moses spoke to Aaron and to his sons and to all the peoples of Israel this is the word of the Lord thanks be to God the New Testament reading continuing the gospel of St. Luke the 12th chapter verses 1 through 12 in the meantime when so many thousands of people had gathered together that were trampling one another, he began to say to his disciples first, Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees, which is hypocrisy. 
Nothing is covered up that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light, and what you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that have nothing more they can do. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies, and not one of them is forgotten before God? Why, even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, you are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before men, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But the one who denies me before men will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But the one who blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. And when they bring you before the synagogues and the rulers and the authorities, do not be anxious about how you should defend yourself or what you should say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you in that very hour what you ought to say. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The prayer of the day. O Lord Jesus, by your Spirit, you give us faith to cast out all fear of confessing the true faith. For we are helpless to save ourselves, and we must trust in you and you alone for our salvation. Keep us faithful to the end that you will not be ashamed of us when you come in your glory with your Father and the holy angels. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us. O Christ, have mercy upon us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we, begin, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We lift to God in prayer, Colleen, Arlene, Chris, Marilyn, Jerry, Bill, Gail, Anne, Mary Ann, Ellie, Helen, Clifford, Melissa, Rick, and Art. O Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all of our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. <laughs>